Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an introduction to feedback systems. That is, systems that have a feedback connection from the output to one of the inputs. Let us look at a simple block diagram illustrating feedback connection. Feedback connection. We have input x of t that goes through an adder. And then we have the system 1. And then we have the output y of t. Then the output is fed back through a system 2. And then combined with the original input x of t. So assuming the system 1 has a transformation h1 and the system 2 has a transformation h2, then y of t is given by h1 of h1 of x of t plus h2 of y of t minus tau. That is, a version of the output y of t is processed by the system 2 and then fed back to the input. And then the final output y of t is given by h1 of x of t plus a transformed version of the original output y of t. So the key difference between feedback systems and the normal systems, that is systems without any feedback connections, is that a version of the output is basically presented as one of the inputs. A good example is a speed control or a speed governor in an automobile. We have the input x of t which is the pressure that is the foot pressure from the driver and then we have the engine which converts the pressure on the pedal to the motion of the vehicle v of t which is quantified by velocity v of t and then we have the then we have the stabilizer which basically inverts the velocity v of t minus tau that is velocity from a previous instant and then converts it into basically a stabilizing pressure a quantity that from which a quantity that is subtracted from the original pressure to produce a well to produce an input which will maintain the velocity of the vehicle in within reasonable limits that is x in of t so this is a pressure that is Stabilize, that acts as a stabilizing factor on the input x of t. That is x of t. We subtract p s of t. We get x in of t. And this kind of pressure and this pressure will always produce a velocity v of t which is within reasonable limits. For example, within the speed limits. Let us look at another example. Here we have a basic electrical circuit in which we have a current source which produces current i of t. And then it is divided into a capacitor C of and a resistor R of. That is, this is I1 of T and this is I2 of T. And the voltage across the resistor R, and this is capacitance C, the voltage across this resistor R is V or V of T. Therefore, the current I of T is equal to I1 of T plus I2 of T. This basically means that current is divided in a parallel circuit. Let us look at the block diagram illustrating the feedback connection in this circuit. We have the input I of t which goes through the capacitor C. And the voltage output of this capacitor V of t is equal to 1 by C integral I1 of tau d tau. That is I1 of t is the output of this adder. This is a capacitor and the voltage V of T is fed back through a resistor R, the resistor R subtracted from the original current I of T. So this is I2 of T. So I1 of T is the difference between the input I of T and the fed back signal I2 of T. That is V of T is equal to I2 of T into R. Thanks for watching.